Welcome to Steam Crafts with the Newport Beach Public Library. Let's see what's in our grab and go kit today. We've got coffee filters, tongue depressors, a little cup, a bag of supplies, and our instructions. All right, let's start with the whirly bird. For this, we will need a small straw and a piece of paper from the baggie. We will also need some tape, scissors, and even a ruler if you've got it. First, cut a couple little slits into the end of your straw. This will make it easier to tape to the paper. Next, measure your piece of paper and find the middle. Hmm, looks like this one's about 14 centimeters long, so I will make a mark at seven centimeters. You can also measure using inches. It's about five and a half inches long, so I will make the other mark at two and three quarters of an inch. Now connect the two marks you made. This is where we are going to punch our hole. I don't have a hole punch handy, so I'll just use a sharpened pencil to poke my hole. Make sure it's the same size and width of your straw. Slide your straw through the hole. Open the flaps you cut earlier and tape them to the paper like this. Finally, twist the tips of paper so that they can create lift when they rotate. I am twisting my blades clockwise. You can twist them counterclockwise instead if you want. Just make sure to twist both ends of the blade the same way. All right, time to send it flying. Just roll it in your hands and watch it go. On to the catapult. For this, we will need the tongue depressors, and a few supplies from the little baggie. Stack all but two of the tongue depressors on top of each other. Slide one of the extras under one of the stack of them and rubber band the ends together to hold them in place. Then, place the second extra on the opposite side of the stack and use the last rubber band to bind it to the other. <music> Lastly, use the sticky little glue dot from the supply baggie to attach the cup to the tongue depressor that is angled upward. That's it, you've made a catapult. Try it out. Not like that. <laughs> also, make sure to try sliding the stack of the tongue depressors back and forth. This will cause the launcher bucket to move at different angles. I wonder which is best for launching the little puffball. Okay, for the last project today, you will need to take a coffee filter and use a marker to draw a circle around the bottom of the inside. Make sure that it is a good, thick line with lots of ink. Once we are done with that, use a pencil to write which color we have used in the middle of the filter. Next, fold it in half, then in half again. Place this with the tip down in a cup filled with a tiny amount of water. The water will travel up the coffee filter and make the ink bleed. As the ink spreads, it should reveal the different pigments that are used to color the ink. Once it looks like the ink has stopped bleeding, take the filter out and place it on a paper towel to dry. Go ahead and do this with the remaining coffee filters and use a different color marker for each one. After letting them dry, it took mine about 45 minutes, take a look at the way the ink bled. The lighter colors look very pretty, but the darker colors are a bit more interesting. 
The brown has a few different colors in it, like kind of like a, a leaf in the fall. And the black looks really cool. To create a butterfly from the filter, just scrunch it up in the middle and twist a pipe cleaner around it to hold it in place. And to become the antenna. You can do this for all of them. I really like how this one turned out. Once you're done with that, string them together to play with or hang up in your window. Thanks for joining us for another Grab and Go Crafts. You can pick up a Steam Crafts Kit at your local Newport Beach Public Library branch while supplies last. Now go have fun and keep experimenting.